This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast, where business leaders share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. I am Kelly Robinson. Uh, first and foremost, I am a daughter uh, to a father with four kids. Uh, he coached us all uh, in various sports. He never missed a game, a meet, or a competition. Uh, second, I'm a mother to a very caring, kind, um, big-hearted 10-year-old boy with a big personality um, and a partner to um, one of the most loving men uh, I know. He's also an entrepreneur, and we are both navigating the single-parent world uh, to get today together. Wonderful. Question number two, what's the best thing about working in your industry? Oh, um, my industry in the recruiting world is amazing because I get to meet so many different people uh, from different walks of life, um, candidates, clients, networking partners. Um, I also get to learn about so many different jobs and industries, environments, uh, geographies, cultures, et cetera. It's amazing. That's great. Question number three. I hear that from other business leaders that staying in a good work-life balance for them and their team members is a challenge. What are your thoughts? So uh, probably about three years ago, uh, my father became very sick. And so I was 24 um, seven working all the time, um, but trying to go see him almost every day for about 10 months through the process. And after he uh, passed, it was very clear to me that I needed to, to take some more time for myself and for my son. Um, and so I decided to do that. I started working out, um, eating healthy, and um, I decided that I was gonna put my kid on the bus every day and I was gonna pick him up every day. Um, so I wasn't gonna put him in the before and after school program anymore. And um, I, I feel better. Um, I lost about 25 pounds. I get more time with my son and I schedule work around my family. Mm. It sounds like you definitely have everything well handled. I try. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't always work, but I try. That we do the best we can. That's right. Question That's right. number four. What other successful business leaders like yourself should be on my podcast? So there's a few. I have, I have there's actually a lot, but there's three that I would mention. Um, so first is my friend Ira Bowman. Uh, so he built a nonprofit called Project Help You Grow. Uh, it's basically a job board of sorts and it connects companies and job seekers and it's free to post a job and free to post your resume. It's wow. amazing. Um, he also has a coaching business that's all around LinkedIn coaching. Um, it's called Bowman Coaching. Um, and last year, he, lastly, he has a um, he actually does have a day job as well um, that he goes to every day for a company called Arc in LA, and he sells um, graphics, print, and printer equipment. Uh, wow. the oh, go ahead. go ahead. Sorry. The second person is um, a gentleman named uh, Damon Pitsolka. Uh, he's in Seattle, and he runs a company called Exit Your Way, and he helps business owners prepare their operations and sales to to position them to to sell the business. Um, and then last but not least, um, Craig Wasselchak of Crushing B2B. Uh, so he is focused on a LinkedIn B2B uh, training program. Shout out to uh, Michael and Erica as well. And I have lots more, but those are the, those are the top three. Those are awesome. In fact, uh, Damon's already uh, scheduled on, on the podcast. He and I are connected. So appreciate the other two. That's awesome. Yeah, he's a great, he's a great guy. Question number five, what insight or advice would you give to other business leaders? This, this is a great question because I just started my business a year ago. So I've, I have a lot to offer, but I'll try to keep it quick. The, the very first thing that I would tell any new business owner is you have to spend money to make money. You have to invest in your business, outsource things that can easily be outsourced, delegate them. Sometimes you can hire people. Uh, for a low hourly fee to do things that's not worth your time so that you can focus on your core business. Entrepreneurs just get so stuck in the nitty gritty um, and that that becomes an issue um, with their business. Excellent. That's excellent advice. And num uh, question number six, tell me about your first job. 
So um, my first job was actually the YMCA when I was 16 at the outdoor pool, but my real first job <laughs> was in um, 1998. Um, I was right out of school and I was completely lost. Um, no one goes to school to be a recruiter ever. And I said um, to my parents, I don't know what to do. And my dad said, why don't you call this company? Uh, what they do is they hire uh, employees for our company. And I went and interviewed and the recruiter said, you should be a recruiter. And I said, okay, I'll try it. And she had a company for me to go to. And I, I ended up staying there for six years. Uh, I learned so much. And um, I, honestly, if I had um, known the significance of that interview and that first job, then I would have stayed in touch with that recruiter, but, but I didn't. Mm. Um, but that's, if she didn't put me in that job, I wouldn't be where I am today. Wow, it's a great story. Interesting how, how, how that all kind of evolved for you. Yes. yes. So, uh, Kelly, how do people get to uh, find you? So they can find me right on LinkedIn. I'm a big fan of LinkedIn. Um, it's Kelly Robinson uh, with Pana Nose. Um, they can visit my website at www.pontanose.com. Um, um, and I have right on my site, there's a way to schedule a call directly with me right on my calendar if anyone wants to chat. That's perfect. Well, I appreciate you being on the show. This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast. For more insights and ideas, go to linkedin.com and search for the Winning at Business and Life podcast. Thanks for listening.